Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on finding the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. Now these are two very important findings in mathematics which are very useful for simplifying fractions and performing operations with fractions which is a large part of the course. So it's certainly worth understanding what they are and how to find them within a set of numbers. Okay, so starting with the highest common factor. So the highest common factor, otherwise known as the greatest common factor, is literally what it says on the tin. It's the highest factor that a set of numbers have in common. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to find factors of a number. So in general, you'll be given a set of numbers. Most of the time, you'll be given two numbers and you'll be asked to find the highest common factor between two of the numbers. And a method you can use is list all the factors of each respective number and out of all of the common factors between each number, choose the highest common factor. So let's have a look at an example. Find the highest common factor or HCF of 18 and 24. So the first thing we do here is we need to list the factors of each number. So the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. And you can always check this by multiplying one number by another number in the list and ensuring that it equals 24. Okay. Now you'll notice that there are several factors that the numbers 18 and 24 share in common, namely one, two, three, and six. However, as six is the highest common factor, it follows that the highest common factor of 18 and 24 is six. Okay, so let's have a look at another example. In this question, we're asked to find the highest common factor of 35 and 17. So, what we need to do is list the factors of 35 and 17. The factors of 35 are one, five, seven, and 35 and the factors of 17 are 1 and 17, as you should know now that 17 is a prime number. Now comparing the factors of each number, we can see that the only factor that's shared in common between 35 and 17 is 1. So therefore, the highest common factor of 35 and 17 is indeed 1. So 1 can indeed be a highest common factor in a set of numbers. Let's have a look at another example. Find the highest common factor of 27, 18 and 9. Now here we're asked to find the highest common factor between three numbers. However, the method stays the same as we've defined the highest common factor to be the highest factor that a set of numbers have in common. Okay, so whether it's two, three or four numbers you're looking at, you still can use the same method. So again, we list the factors of each respective number as follows. And comparing the factors, we can see that there are some factors in common between 27, 18 and 9, namely 1, 3 and 9. However, as 9 is the highest factor, we can say that the highest common factor of 27, 18 and 9 is 9. All right. Now looking at these examples shows us something that we can generalize about the highest common factor. And that's that the highest common factor will always be less than or equal to the smallest given number, okay? So in this case, the smallest given number was nine and we saw that the highest common factor was nine. So it was equal to the smallest given number in this case. In this case, we saw that the highest common factor was one which is certainly less than 35 and 17. And in this case, we saw the highest common factor between 18 and 24 was six, which is certainly less than 18 and 24. So it's an obvious but useful fact to remember about highest common factors. Let's now look at the lowest common multiple. So the lowest common multiple, otherwise known as the least common multiple is the smallest multiple that a set of numbers have in common. So very much like the name, if you are given a set of numbers, what you have to do is find their multiples and literally find the first or the lowest common multiple 
that you see between the numbers. So let's have a look at an example. Find the lowest common multiple or LCM of eight and six. So we first need to write the multiples of eight and six. But how do you write the multiples of eight and six? Well, the easiest way to think about it is what is your eight times tables and what is your six times tables, okay? So the first multiples of eight are eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, and so on, okay? And this is an infinite list of numbers that are part of the eight times tables. The multiples of six are six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and so on, okay? And this is again an infinite list of numbers in the six times tables, okay? So for this example, I would recommend that you just write the first few multiples of the given numbers. You then need to isolate the multiples which these numbers share in common. Now in this case, that's 24 and 48. Now, as we are looking for the lowest common multiple, which is 24, it means that the lowest common multiple of eight and six is 24. Let's have a look at another example. Find the lowest common multiple of five and 25. So again, we start by writing the first few multiples of each number five and 25 as follows. We then highlight the multiples that the numbers share in common. And as we can see, 25 is a number that appears first in both lists, which means that the lowest common multiple of five and 25 is 25, okay? Now a common mistake that students make when given a lowest common multiple question is immediately multiplying the numbers together and assuming that that multiple is a lowest common multiple, okay? In this case, we see that eight times by six is equal to 48, and it is indeed a common multiple. However, writing the list of multiples showed that there was a lower common multiple, okay? And the same applies for this question. If we had immediately multiplied five by 25, we would have found a common multiple, which would be 125. However, writing the list of multiples allows us to see that the lowest common multiple is not 125, but it's 25. And this is why writing a list of multiples is always helpful because it allows you to clearly see the lowest common multiples, okay? Let's move on to the last example. Find the lowest common multiple of 12, 15, and 20. So as in the previous examples, we need to write a list of multiples for each number. And we should be able to see from this list that the first common multiple between these numbers is 60, which means that the lowest common multiple of 12, 15, and 20 is equal to 60. And the useful fact about the lowest common multiple is that the lowest common multiple will always be greater than or equal to the highest given number within a set of numbers, okay? And the above examples help to show this. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at using other methods to calculate the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple between two or more numbers. Until then, keep up the good work and I'll see you shortly. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.